My name is Hal Rosenbaum. I'm a urologist with First Urology that's based in Louisville, Kentucky. The objectives that I look at when considering to adopt some new technology is you want to make sure that you have good patient care, that you're using a test that has been validated and is accurate, and that you know that the results can be reproducible. There are a couple reasons why we've switched to guidance UTI. Uh, the first one was probably the turnaround time. Our company used other PCR tests before, and we were noticing that it was taking a very long time to get the results back. It was not a good antibiotic stewardship program because, for example, we would give them an antibiotic and then we would have to wait five or seven days before the other test would come back, which would result in people getting two weeks of antibiotics. Uh, we were worried about antibiotic resistances. We were worried about complications such as C. diff colitis. So the turnaround time with guidance is only one at most two days. In addition, most other PCR tests will give you a resistance gene, but they just give you literature data that you need to use against that infection. The difference that guidance UTI has that sets it apart from really any other UTI test in the PCR field is it has pooled antibiotic susceptibility testing. So what that means is that when you get a report for a guidance UTI, it will tell you specifically which antibiotics will kill the bacteria in that specimen. It's very, very unique because again, you can get a resistance gene, but you don't know if that resistance gene is turned on. With guidance, you know exactly what's going to sterilize your urine, and that makes it different than any other test that you can order. A guidance UTI report is very easy to interpret. It very clearly delineates which antibiotics work against the specimen and which antibiotics do not work against the specimen. It gives you multiple options, which is very, very helpful because if you have a patient that has multiple drug allergies, it gives you more than one option that you can treat that specimen with. So it's very, very easy to interpret. We've had multiple patients that have come back and have just been exceedingly happy because we finally got rid of their infection. They're happy again. They don't have voiding symptoms. So it's a very, very rewarding test to use because your patients will do much better. One patient that comes to mind is that a 45-year-old, completely healthy female that had been treated by her family doctor for upwards of two months with three different antibiotics. The primary care doctor had ordered standard urine culture and the first report had said 10,000 mixed colonies. So they guessed on an antibiotic, it didn't work. They went through other rounds of antibiotics, actually got referred to another urologist. They didn't have access to PCR testing. She went through hundreds of dollars of testing and other procedures. I saw her for the first time, ordered a guidance UTI, found a rare bacteria, was able to treat her, and then two weeks later she was completely normal. So that was very rewarding because she had gone through months of testing that was probably unnecessary and multiple rounds of antibiotics and really suffered for those two to three months. And just with one guidance UTI test, I was able to cure her. The turnaround time is a game changer. You'll get the results back within one to two days at most, which is quicker than a standard culture and it's quicker than any other PCR testing that you'll have. With the guidance UTI testing, there is no guessing. You have pooled antibiotic susceptibility testing that will let you know which antibiotic to give that patient that will sterilize that urine. No other testing on the market can do that. So there are multiple things, but that is probably the biggest thing I think that in my practice I've noticed that sets it apart from anything else.